All right, what's going on, Forgotten Nation? I'm your host, Def G, and welcome back to some more Runner 2, taking on the gold route of Spooky Land. And for those that tuned in the last time, jeez, this is getting hard. This is just the gold route, it's already difficult. If this is hard, I don't even want to know what the challenge stage is going to be like, because the gem route is going to be just as hard as the gold route. But anyways, we are going to continue our way through Spooky Land, trying to grab all the gold in each level. But wow, is this getting hard. So, without any further ado, let's go back into... And as I mentioned last time, I do recall that the uh, the two, the wedding people from the Hero Quest back in Food Land actually mentioned this level. So there is something to it here that... I'll have to wait and find out and see what happens. But what is Commander Video doing in Spooky Land? Why is Timbletot here to begin with? Ah, jeez. Alright, here we go. This is Doll Hollow. Alright, nothing too bad so far. Alright, so we have the lighthouse in the background. I get the feeling that's where we're going to be going next, or is it just for aesthetic? Alright, that's a creepy doll face. It's got the colors of Commander Video's cape. And the core colors that made the Pit Trip series what it was. Ah! What was that sound? Alright, alright, let's do it again. I feel like that lighthouse might be important in the later stages. That's just me, though. Ah! Alright. Alright, got it. There we go. Oh my gosh, it's such a creepy doll face in the background. It's like, one's made of stone, the other's just got the graffiti of Commander Video's colors. Look at it! Oh my god! Ah! Props though, to Choice Provisions, that's definitely terrifying if that's what you're going for. Oh, what? I, I, I jumped. And I do gotta fix my headphone. For those that don't know, I actually am using Apple headphones because... Whoa. My USB headset doesn't have an auxiliary port to it. It's Bluetooth through a USB. And to give the illusion that I'm still using it, because it would kind of look funny just to just have the Apple headphones on, I'm using my main headset. Of course, I probably could have done something a little more on the wired side. I could have probably configured the switch into my computer to listen through the computer itself, but eh, felt like a hassle. What it is though, I've used these headphones from the very beginning of my channel back in 2015 and they still work to this day, so these are probably one of the best headsets I've gotten. For those that want to know, they are the Corsair Vengeance. This is not a sellout, and this is not a paid advertisement. For what it is, I kind of love these headsets. I just do wish they had an auxiliary uh, cable for them. Uh, what would you call that, a jack or a port? It would make things so much more convenient on my end. But for what it is, it works with computers. Alright. But yeah, those baby heads are just... Ugh. How am I supposed to time this jump? I feel like if I hold it, I'm not going to get past him. But I need to stay in the air for the gold. Alright, there's a way to this. There's a way. There's always a way. Do you know the way? Yes, that's a dead meme that I just brought back just now. Then again, Commander Video did it first. He started with dabbing. Alright. Even the robots look like they've been in a state of decay. Because the... Yeah, their screens are like, oh, there we go. Oh my gosh, that one's reanimated. 
Heavy use of the double jump indeed. Yep, yep. Heavy use of the double jump. Alright, careful here. Whoa! Okay, say no to checkpoints, but I may regret this. It was a bounce pad that made me have to jump at the end. Oh, it's that camera angle again. Oh, I'm not liking this. I'm not liking this. No doubt there's gonna be a collectible up there. Oh my gosh, I am not liking this. Okay, careful. Alright. I didn't miss one of those gold, did I? Oh, it's the... Uh... No, 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 okay, it was just that. I thought that was the speedy section again. Well, actually, we did get the puppet, so... That's good, we don't have to come back here. Alright. Uh, that's 100! Oh my gosh! Oh! This is getting intense. Jeez. Alright, cannon. Ah! Could've had it. Alright. Let's continue on. But, the going's getting tough. It's getting intense. Definitely. Alright, wait for it. Almost there. Alright. Frawlin Hammer Blats? Hammer Blats? Uh, we ought to leave it to Charles Martinet for this one. But, first, we do finally have to shop again. And luckily, we do have gems from Foodland, but we don't have any of those Gildens yet. So, we can only unlock so much right now. But for what it is, let's see what we're working with. So, we got that one. Mm. Whoa! Skin shorts of sorts. Shorts made from your own skin. Congratulations, you cannot unsee. No, we don't have a Gilden for that. Out of sight. Oh, I get it. It's like that DLC costume where Commander Video is invisible. But I actually could see him a little bit this time. Okay. Uh, what else we got? Okay, that's it for the costumes. Uh, capes. Mmm. Okay, cheese cape. Cheese. Glorious cheese. Three varieties, in fact. All emitting out of your bag for a snacking convenience. Okay, that should have been there since Foodland. Uh, <laughs> look, we don't want to alarm you, but you're on fire. <laughs> oh, that's great. And then we have Independence. Fly those flags, a lovely set of three pennants to adorn your tireless runner. And we have the Foodland National Flag. This cape looks majestic if you run with the Foodland National Anthem playing. If only we could remember the words. Ah, I get it. The, the music they played in the cutscene. Solid gold. I'll be running right behind you, collecting <laughs> everything you leave behind with this abundant cape. Oh my god! <laughs> Oh, that's great. Uh, I heart hearts. What the world needs now is this cape. Sweet cape. Alright, and we have the hot pink crosshatch. For the runner who loves pink, this cape has you covered. Well, at least it has your back covered. And we have release the hound stuff. The hound stuff cape, and never goes out of style. Uh... Reminiscent of an old friend of impressive rank. The Captain. Okay, this is a callback to Captain Video. That was one of the unlockable characters back in Runner 2. And it's the only thing I could say seems like it would have came straight out of the Bit Trip series itself. Because Captain Video kind of looks reminiscent of Commander Video, as if he were like a higher up. And then back to Birthday Cape. And then the last, we have the accessories again. Uh, what else we got? Mm, monocool. Uh, Icarus Bunt. Run like the wind with these little wings on your back, just don't go to Buffalo. I hear that's a dangerous place for wings. <laughs> okay, so he does have wings, but you can't see them. Mmm. Whoa. Uh. Hark. Oh, it's 8 bit heart containers. Looks like you got unlimited health with these neat retro hearts, but actually, you don't. One bonk and it's back to the starting line as usual. Pretty cool. And we have the Briar Tire. There's no shortage of classy pipes in Runner 3, only a shortage of pipe classes. <laughs> we have beatboxes. 
Oh, okay, I like that. It actually has the colors from, uh, well, the Bitch Up series. Oints, oints, oints. Check out these fat beat boxes. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, okay, that's a callback to the cutscenes. Uh, Bigfoot's bald spots. Would anyone, oh, uh, why anyone would pay for a bald spot is beyond me. This is legitimately stupid, and I'm disappointed this made, <laughs> this made it into the game. Oh my gosh. And then back to the natural. Okay, so some pretty interesting stuff to say the least, but we don't have the Gildan, so we really can't get any of it yet. So with that in mind, we're going to go back to the game. It's fun stuff. It's fun stuff. And I like how it keeps making nicks at the creators of the game and their opinions on some of the stuff, like, that shouldn't have been here. If only I had more time to develop this character. <laughs> uh, fun stuff. Uh, anyway, it's time for the next stage. Fraulein Amber Blatz. Okay, Amber Blatz. Ugh. Alright, so what we get... Hopefully it's easy. I'm. It's gotten so hard. I'm gonna hope the gold rot's easy. Uh. Okay. Bring it on, runner three. Wait for it. Okay. Again, you're standing behind me. No, no. I'm not looking back this time. All right. And I had to mention this in the, uh, two state. well actually no, it'd be three stages ago now. But, this track actually isn't too bad. So really, Spooky Land, there's only one track I don't like. The rest, they work pretty well, if I'm being honest. I almost want to say this is a remix of the first track in a way. Whoa, that shouldn't have happened. And it looks like we could have taken a different route. I kind of thought I was on that route with the rockets. Alright, so just gotta focus. Alright, so we're seeing these crates, and we're kind of in this corrupted carnival of sorts. And you can't forget the spooky land sign in the back, just like Hollywood. Spooky wood. Alright, beatbox. Er, boombox. Alright, different paths, so we're down this one, because we can't take that one yet. Alright, I'm too bad so far, as long as I'm paying attention. Okay, we got another hand section with the rockets. Actually, it's a little slower this time, but the camera is... Awkward? Is that a word, though? I guess it's not too bad. Oh, We're going fast. Okay, no, we can't handle it yet. Alright, say no to checkpoints. Okay, there's the, uh, the puppet down there. And I already missed the gold. Falling down there didn't kill me. Alright. So, how to approach that gold? I wish I had a replay cam. A way to see how I missed it. Which, uh, Runner Runner 2, what they did when you die is that you'd pull yourself all the way back to the beginning. While I do miss that, I can understand why they took it away, because it is pretty time consuming. What I would like to see, though, is when you died, the ability to see a short little replay of what happened, to comprehend what you did, and see how to fix it. Alright, focusing. Because even that little addition would have been cool to see. Even if you, say, for example, had to restart the stage just to go like to the main menu or something. So, like, if you save the replay system of sorts. Because then you can see every little detail. Plus, you can chronicle if you do beat those challenge stages that we're going to face on later. You have proof that you beat it. Which, actually, this is the Switch, so I guess that kind of does exist. At least the 30 seconds of it, anyways. Because with the Switch, you can record 30 seconds of footage. Actually, why didn't I ever think of that? 
I don't know, I never really come to thought of that. Alright. There we go. Oh, back. Oh, we're going fast on the can again. And we got the awkward angle. And we're going faster? Oh. And I missed the gold! Alright, so we're going against the first mecha. I want to call this a mid boss. So the idea is that there's three patterns that you have to memorize and avoid. And those patterns will be kind of predictable if you could base what he's doing. Like that first one, I knew I had the duck. But that second one, I think I maybe had to kick him. The real problem though is that we lost the gold. Cannot skip any gold in a gold run. At least in my playthrough anyways. We may be able to skip the gems, but definitely not the gold. Alright. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. We can do it. Just gotta focus. Careful. Alright, so far so good. I hate that there's just the one step there. Especially when you think that you may be going down the other route. It's a small thing, but... Eh, I hate it. Alright. Here we go with the can section again. Not as bad as the fast one, but... Take me to the end, schlorts. Okay, careful now. Okay, careful. Say no to checkpoints. Okay, and uh, there we go! Alright, we got the can section again, and we're going pretty fast. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Okay, here we go again! So, duck! Jump, 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 we're gonna punch him now. Huh, that was it. And I already missed the gold again! I missed the gold! Ah! But no, with the, uh, the armored guys, I thought there was three faces, not two. Maybe it's because we're going fast, so it kind of gets rid of the uh, the third phase. I remember being told there was three. All right. Alright, the worst is yet to come. Get ready for it. Alright, we're doing it. Okay. The first best segment. Nothing we can't handle. Say no to checkpoints. I refuse to take the checkpoints. Alright, here we go. Grab it. Punch. Kick, I guess. Alright, slide under him. Jump, 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 slide, kick. Okay, get the high goal! My god! It's moving too fast to comprehend. No! There was two of them. So I guess that makes up the third attack I was talking about. Uh, okay, okay, we may have to take the checkpoints. 
I don't want to do it, but we may have to take the checkpoints. Alright. So just remember, we have to jump over the third one. Alright, if I'm going by critique, it's kind of unfair to throw those guys at us as soon as we're moving fast. Had we encountered them earlier in the game, it would have made sense to have them at this increased speed. But this is the first time we're seeing these guys. And suddenly for them to be attacking at this kind of speed and trying to figure out what it means, it's almost unfair. Alright, so let's just do it again. Alright, say no checkpoints one more time. If I don't do this, then... Ah, oh, I guess we gotta take the checkpoints. Oh, come on! Why? Uh, Alright. We're gonna take the checkpoint. I really hate to do it, but we're gonna take the checkpoints. You know, I'm kind of sensing something with the number 5 in the game runner 3. Now, for those that don't recall, stage 5 in Foodland was the minecart section. One of the biggest things that threw me off there was the camera system. And now that we're in stage 5 of Spooky Land, one thing that's pissed me off is the way that's set up with the speed sections. Not the fact that it's out of nowhere, but the fact that you're unprepared. Especially, especially for the Armored Knight section. Because that's just unfair game design that you're not prepared for. You've never seen it yet, so how are you supposed to know what to do without failing? But since we have failed, we can kind of piece together a little bit. But the bigger issue is the fact that we're going so fast. So we got the checkpoint as much as I hate it. All right. Plus, this game does have the heavy use of forcing yourself down. Alright. Here we go again. So we're gonna slide right under you. And then we're gonna kick you down. Now we're gonna take this. And we did not fall down fast enough. That's another thing, this game wants you to fall down so fast so many times, there's no sense of the floatiness that is Commander Video. One of the things that made him so great in uh, Super Meat Boy is his ability that he's able to slide, well, not slide, I guess the words hover for a set time, but he was also floaty there. You could say Commander Video is a floaty character, but the fact that you're forcing him down takes that away from his character. They could say he's almost as heavy as, say, Metal Mario or something. You could say that he gained too much weight in Foodland, that suddenly he is the definition of Schlortz. Which I actually don't know the definition myself, so I'm just making that as a pun. Maybe you could say that these gold bars are actually made of butter. Alright, we're gonna slide right down. Get the gold. We're gonna punch and kick our way through. Take the high route, get ready. Jump over, there we go, oh, he's coming at it again, kick him, there we go. We have conquered this learning experience from hell. Speaking of which, hell is not in this game, so then again, it's just an unfair experience. Then again, I am the one trying to go for all the gold, maybe I shouldn't have gone for the gold, but I need to be the completionist. Not the completionist, but a completionist. Alright. Alright, but we're doing it. We are doing it. So let's continue. 
we have the wording way. And based on where we are on the map, I gotta imagine that the background's gonna have a bunch of giant words. Please, if they're not spooky puns, let them be throwbacks to Bit Trip. Please, that's the one thing you keep doing this game. You keep abandoning your roots. But alright, so what else awaits? Wait for it. Alright. Three, two, one! So those trees have portals in them, but I wonder where they lead. Okay, okay, the first word is rival. And the second word is rivalry or rival and dry. Oh, no! Okay, I was supposed to hold the button. Okay, that's on me. I'll give it that was on me. Alright, nice and easy, nice and easy. Take it slow. Alright, here we go again. Yeah, there we go. Okay, the next word is faculty. Ah, come on! Th there we go again with the camera angle obscuring the view. I just don't like the camera angles this game has to offer. Especially when you're trying to do stuff like grab gold. If you're having him come at the camera, that's one of the worst things you could do unless you give us time to tell where we're supposed to jump and when. But it obscures the view, there's like no undershadow to know how close we are to reaching the gold. And it's just an unfair experience. If I had to give a better example, I... Well, even Crash Bandicoot has its problems with the running. But uh, the next word is... Rubricist. Rubricist? Yeah, I'll use some strong words. And that... Oh, that's why you're trying to go for the sign. Don't go for the sign. Yeah, these are some strong words. Something that I feel like only Charles would be able to handle. Alright. Alright, the rocket goes boom. We take it all the way down. I can only imagine what's the other way. Ah, come on. See? <sighs> I know this episode's been me ranting, but... I'm sorry, guys. If you're the ones playing this getting angry, you would understand. Because that's where I am right now. I'm angry. Alright. Take it easy. Take a breath. And let's just focus on what's going on. We can do it. Alright, there we go. Do it again! Do it again! <laughs> ah! Ah! I'm losing it here, people. Alright. Only a name like Spooky Land can have stages this hard. And this is the gold route. Okay, here we go. There we go. Not gonna go for the sign yet. That's for a later time. Alright, just focus. And that word says Viscara. 
Ooh, I'm gonna gold. Say no checkpoints, even though I could really use it right now. Okay, jump and kick. Oh, that is one close camera. Okay, taking the high route. Oh. Okay, that's the gem route. For a second I thought, are we gonna go backwards again? Okay, going up. And we gotta jump. Okay, we're approaching the end. Oh, come on! <laughs> Alright, so we got a piece of gold down there, so we got to be fast about it. Here we are back at the beginning. There we go. All right, we're doing it. Sliding right down. All right, say no to checkpoints. I refuse to take the checkpoint, no matter how much suffering I go through in this single uh, episode. You can't stand on it. Once you kick it, you have to hop over it. You can't stand on the top of it. What is this? This episode of Runner 3 is my descent into madness. Record my chronicles across the, the web so those know the suffering I've endured to try to present 100 Runner 3. Because at this point, it's no wonder Commander Bill gets angry at Timbletot and sacrifices his own life just to defeat Timbletot. Because even I would be angry right now at this. Alright, take it nice and easy. Alright, alright. This area wasn't too bad, as long as you're able to tell what's coming ahead. Whoa. Alright. Jump up. Okay, here we go again! So get ready to fall down. Alright, we're doing it. That's a question mark. Alright, alright. We're gonna go for the checkpoints. We need the checkpoints. Especially, I think this may be my longest episode yet. Alright. I've lost it. I am losing it. Alright. 
get coal. Why did I want to jump? Which actually, I can't even imagine trying to go for that sign later. Sure, I don't have to do the whole stage, but even still, just going for that sign. Top of that, it's not even a sign, it's a puppet. A puppet sign. Sliding down, there we go. I mean, I'll take credit for the death with the sign. That That's my doing. I'll take credit for that. Alright, we're gonna take the checkpoint. I know I say no to checkpoints, but this has gone on way too long. This has gone on way too long to be any way of enjoyable. Careful. Alright, we're doing it. We're doing it. Alright, jump up. Okay, here we go again. Remember to force myself down for that gold. Alright, alright, we're doing it. We're doing it. Question mark. Me questioning where's my insanity. Oh no! I didn't. Alright, did get the checkpoints. We got checkpoints. Alright. Timing is everything. Alright, we can do it. I feel like this is finally it. This could be the moment of truth. And one thing to point out too, compared to Food Land, the background is kind of disappointing. Not even Runner 2 had backgrounds like these where there's almost nothing during some of these segments. It kind of just takes away. It almost... It's... I mean, I guess that's the effect they're going for right now, that there's not too much happening, but in some parts it just feels empty. Like there should be more, but there isn't. And I guess maybe you could say the same for Runner 2. There are sections like the Emerald Brun where if it weren't for those crates in the background, it's really just the ocean, but I don't know. Some about parts like this feel kind of bland. Ah, ha, 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 All right, all right. Shiny gold in the background. Please lead me to fortune. I know in China, the golden cat represents fortune. So why shouldn't it apply here? After all, people like gold bars. Alright. Okay. I am for most certain that we got that. Okay, it's these guys... It's these guys that I can't seem to slide under that are really getting on my nerves. Maybe I can double jump over them? I don't know.
Alright. Back up again. Jump. Alright, watch out. Get ready to go down. Got it. Double jump. Okay, here comes the second one. I'm gonna try a double jump. Okay, that's another way of doing it. But then down. Are we finally- are we finally doing it? Oh my gosh. Gold, gold. Sweet release, we finally did it. Oh my, oh my god. Ah, oh, it's all over. Ah, oh, that was the most painful level that I had to go through yet. Oh my. Oh my gosh, that was painful. I don't know, how long were we going for already at this point? I don't have a timer on here. This is through uh, Streamlabs OBS. It doesn't have a timer. But how long were we going for? Oh my gosh. Of any episode I've done, this has been the most painful episode to date. And this is just... We're... F we are officially halfway through the game. Because there's only three worlds in Runner uh, 3. As... Well, part of the main campaign, that is. But to be halfway through the game and to already be facing this kind of suffering for only the gold route, per se. This is just the gold route. Oh my gosh, this is painful. I think they made this game too difficult. For those that are going in with a clean slate, they've never played Runner or Runner 2. Oh my gosh, I feel sorry for what they have to endure. There's no way they're going to get all that gold. There's no way. Ah, that's it for me, guys. Oh my gosh, I need to take a break after this. That's how long this has gone on. Uh, for those that made it to the end of this episode in particular, thanks for sticking around. This is the most suffering I think I've ever done for a single stage. Ah, jeez. But anyways, stick around next time. We're going to finish the gold route once and for all with Spooky Lands as we continue our playthrough of Runner 3. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next video. Oh my gosh, that was painful.